Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and this is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at how to repair still images in Photoshop CC. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use the clone tool. This is an obituary picture from 1904. And we're going to select first the thing I'm going to do. There's nothing here that really needs straightening. It looks pretty straight. Select the crop tool, the letter C, and pull that down a bit. Lose just a little bit of that border. A little bit of this border here, just a touch, and lose that border there a little bit. And press the Enter key. Let's zoom in just a bit. Command plus and select the Move tool and just, oh, hush, move down. We've got a couple of issues here. We've got a spot right there. We've got a bad spot and a scratch there. We've got this huge, humongous white thing on his breast pocket. We've got a few white dots here. And we got, actually, the more we look at it, we got more and more white dots as you look at it. Here's my philosophy on using cleanup tools for old photographs. People look first at the eyes, so I've got to make sure those eyes look really good. Then they're going to look at the face. Then they're going to look at the area around the face. And then they're going to look at the rest of the photograph. So I spend my time making the face look really good, making the area around the head look good, and making the rest of it look okay. I'll get rid of the big stuff. I'll get rid of this. But I'm not going to get rid of each one of those dots. It probably won't make compression. It probably won't make the final video. It's just in the noise level, so to speak. So I'll clean up here with much more care than I will clean up down here. And in all cases, I'm using the clone tool. Select the clone tool. And let's change the size. We're going to make it smaller. The clone tool needs to be bigger than that which you're removing, but not so big that you're going to have a texture problem. And I'm going to make this a little bit softer, right about there. Okay, now, first thing I'm going to fix is this spot right here. Hold the Option key down and click on an element which is close to it with roughly the same grayscale. Option click. Then bring that over to here and just draw out and notice that that spot is gone and the scratch is gone. Here, let's do the same thing up here. And we'll just click, spots gone, spots gone, spots gone, spots gone. I'm cleaning up right around the face. And now we've got all that garbage there is pretty well gone. Option, right there on the border, get rid of that. Let's zoom in a bit more. And we got a couple spots on the mustache we want to get rid of, and definitely these forehead spots. So again, I'm looking for grayscale. And the grayscale looks the best right above it. So I'm going to a little bit smaller. OK, and probably right there, Option click, and just drag across. And those dots are gone. I'm looking for a grayscale value for the clone tool that has the same value. So you can't see he's been retouched. Same thing here. As long as I'm here, I'll just quickly get rid of those guys just by clicking on them. This is where suddenly you're 15 minutes into repair and you've cleaned up a bunch of small stuff and nobody's going to notice. Okay, again, we're on the face. We got mustache to clean up, so I'm going to option click right below it, get rid of that spot, get rid of that spot right there. And on his neck, we'll get rid of this dark spot right about there. Option. What I would really spend time doing is cleaning up the face. Then I'm going to scroll down here. And most of the suit I'm probably not going to do much with. I'm going to find, let's see, probably right about there. Option click. And that's gone. I want to keep the fold of the fabric. Drag across. Keep this fold right there clean some of that stuff up, but the rest of it I'm going to leave alone. And look at how we've got a much cleaner shot. I would probably get rid of this, probably get rid of that. Okay. And maybe I'd get rid of the crease that's in his uh, jacket, but pretty much I'd be stopping right about there. Focus on the eyes first, the face second, the area surrounding the face third, everywhere else fourth. That's the clone tool. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at how to repair still images inside Photoshop CC. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store and look for Webinar 150.
By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.